Hi guys, welcome to African Daisy Tarot. All my information is in the description box below. This is for the Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is um, your Korean finances, uh, timeless message. So we'll check your current energy, what to look out for. This could be positive or negative, And what is that advice from spirit? Okay, get to it. Um, also, it's not uncommon to see two of the same tarot cards come out. I like to blend my decks. I have to blend two decks. Um, to tarot decks here. So if you watch my previous videos, you'll be able to see that. Okay. Current energy, fourth Virgo Capricorn. Okay. So you've got the six of pentacles, the six of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. That's funny. Um, and the page of pentacles. Okay. A lot of pentacles. Um, right now, I feel like <clears throat> it seems like you are you have this mixed energy here when it comes to your finances. I feel like on one hand, you might be feeling generous or in a position where you are either giving or receiving help. And maybe you've been helping someone <clears throat> out financially, um, or you on the receiving end, you know, some kind of support, you know, it could be benefits, could be institution. Um, it doesn't matter. I feel like even if it's through a friend, you know, job related opportunity, maybe, um, I feel like this is about balance. It's about um, keeping things fair. Okay. But the thing is the, Frustrating situation here, the finances here is um, maybe you've been recently uh, denied um, some help, you know, it could be a loan, could be feel like maybe someone isn't giving you the financial support that you expected. Um, yeah, I feel like this could be very disappointing, you know, especially if you were counting on that extra boost or you might be left wondering like how, how are you going to make ends meet or kind of pushing through some kind of tough financial uh, moment without that help that you were expecting. Okay. So yeah. Um, there's also a new opportunity here. I feel like this is related to um, could be a job offer, some fresh start in your career. Maybe um, I don't know if you've been actively looking or just putting maybe feelers out there. This is about, you know, maybe there's a chance here for something new. Okay. So yeah, the page of pentacles could be a new job, or, you know, a new investment of some sort. It's not fully uh, mature yet, or it could be, yeah, that, that I feel like it's just, maybe you're just putting feelings out there. Maybe somebody's telling you about a, a job that you'd be very good at, and you kind of know that you stand a good chance of getting it, you know, something like that. Um, but whatever it is, I feel like uh, it's definitely a long-term financial stability, so you could count on, you know, that being long-term. Okay, so what to look out for? What to look out for? Nine of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and the Star. Hmm. I feel like you need to be careful with your spending this week. Um, maybe you might feel this need to um, spur a splurge. Um, I feel like, you know, even though you treat yourself every now and, and then, it, that's not a bad thing, but I feel like you need, you need to make sure that you're not overdoing it, okay? So, yeah, especially if the money's been tight, okay? So, um, yeah, I feel like this is kind of like, you might be tempted to go overboard, you know, uh, particularly when it comes to luxuries, you know, maybe things that n are not necessary right now. Um, some of you also need to pay attention to competitive energy around you. The five of swords is petty competitive, you know, um, people around you. So I don't know if it's your work, it's your personal life. You know, you might find, you might be finding yourself, um, yeah, there might be some kind of rivalry here, you know, or feeling like you are in some kind of rivalry, you know, it, it could be as simple as trying to outdo others, you know, or maybe feeling like maybe someone's trying to one up you. Um, yeah, so I feel like, yeah, you need to um, be mindful of, you know, how much energy that you are putting into this, you know, sometimes it's best to just step back and avoid getting sucked into that unnecessary drama. Okay, I feel like not every battle is worth fighting it especially if it drains you financially and emotionally right so 
yeah, on, on the right side here, there's the star. So this is about, you know, there's a spotlight on you in some sort of way. The star is like an actual star. You could be an influencer. You could be on TV, you, whatever. You could just be in the media. Um, there's some kind of spotlight on, on, on you in some way this week, okay? Um, I don't know. You might be finding that people are looking to you for guidance, for inspiration, you know, especially if you've been sharing your knowledge, your skills with others. I feel like this could be, yeah, this social media, maybe even in the workplace, uh, maybe within your community. Um, yeah, I feel like you need to embrace that role because it's coming in the upright, the stars in the upright. This is about embracing that role and, and using it to your advantage. You know, I feel like there's an, there's an opportunity for you to shine here. And I feel like you need to trust in your abilities, okay? Yeah, so what is that advice? What is that advice? Okay, five of swords again, seven of swords, ooh, and eight of pentacles. Mm, that's nasty. Toxic, toxic. All right, so I also feel like that word, I use that word, oh, I shouldn't be using it that much. I'm trying to be, make... Um, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I feel like if you if you are dealing with a toxic work environment, you know, a community, I feel like now might be the time to seriously maybe consider making some kind of change. Just may, or, or for others, if you just don't be sucked into that drama, it can, like I said, it can drain you emotionally, mentally, you know, financially. Um, yeah, for others of you, I feel like it, it could be like maybe it's easy to stay in, in this comfortable yet unhealthy job situation, right? Because of finances sometimes, um, the paycheck, right? It's it's draining your energy, but it's it's causing more harm than good. We're all very guilty of that. I know I, I have been in the past. Um, I feel like this is, you know, worth reevaluating. I feel like whether it's gossip, you know, it could be manipulation, it could be just negative vibes sometimes. Um, I feel like you need to start looking for something something better, you know, better opportunities you know, or maybe a better way to cope with that stress okay so like i said either stepping back and just not paying attention to that um yeah um so yeah I, there is shady behavior i feel like you know even when it comes to your finances here maybe you know the seven of swords that's a uh, criminal right that's uh, that it, it doesn't have to be but this is how i'm seeing it I feel like keep an eye out for any, anyone maybe trying to deceive you or maybe take advantage of your situation. You know, this could come in, in the form of, um, you, you know, it could be bad financial advice, could be hidden fees. Oh, that's a big one. Hidden fees. Those terms and conditions, those ones. Or even someone just maybe asking for help, you know, under false kind of pretenses. Um, yeah, I feel like you need to be smart about and make sure that you're fully aware of all the details before you agree to anything. And uh, the Eight of Pentacles is about, you know, rebuilding, improving your financial situation, you know, consistently, you know, slow and steady will win the race. I, I will say that, um, you know, so for others of you, you might be sitting down, you know, looking at your budget, the way this man is just looking at the, those coins and, uh, you know, paying off some of you paying off debts, you know, working on that credit, you know, um, slowly, consistently. Okay. Um, I feel like it's, it's about putting the eight of pentacles is about putting in the effort to to improve. OK, so putting in the effort to improve your long term financial stability because the eight is not so far from the ten of pentacles. OK, so, yeah, I feel like the, the more you work on it, the more you master this, uh, the better position you'll be down the road. OK, so, yeah, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in.